on the blue couch at 401 North Market Street with Coach Bo. Wow. Hello. I just got, I've just met Coach and his wife. His wife, Kristen, that's new, right? New, newly wife, newly yeah. Newly wife, but not, not newly together, no. obviously. Been together for 13 years. Yeah, so, so you finally, finally, finally did it. You were probably getting harassed. Of course I was, of course. Well, as you can tell, he is the coach of TJ High School, my alma mater. And we're so glad somebody has stepped up there. What a journey you've had in a couple of years. It has just been. moving to Frederick. You're getting settled here. You've gotten married, and now you've gotten yourself into uh, TJ High School's sure head coach have. position. Yep. I know it's a challenge. Uh, I know, uh, obviously, my kids went to that high school, recently graduated there, too. You're taking on something way bigger than coaching, I think. Right, yeah. right. And, and I'll tell you, that's kind of the reason why I got into it. Um, yeah. I started with the program three years ago and just saw how many awesome kids there needed needed some consistency and needed some role models and wanted to be a part of a good program and wanted to put in the work for it so we're just trying to do what we can to provide that for them best yeah. as we can and your background you played sports i did yeah i played um i played football my entire life um went to high school in oklahoma where football is very very important and uh, they take it very seriously so i learned a lot down there um, and then I was lucky enough to get a scholarship at Bucknell University, where I was a four-year letterman captain my senior year. So had a lot of experience playing. And then yeah. luckily at college, met my wife, Kristen, and <laughs> started my life from there. So. Yeah, excellent. And you know, and you know, I talk to a lot of athletes, sports is life. It mimics the same thing. So when yeah. you can teach athletes the fundamentals the family that is surrounded right. by and especially at some of our high schools here where we've got kids who don't have that stability oh, and yeah. that regular i mean i think you're finding that that is as important as the sport itself yeah i would i really kind of say that, that that's my job that's what i'm i'm here for is being that mentor for them being a consistent role model trying to teach them about how sports teaches you about life and how it sets yeah. you up for life and all the lessons that you learn from it so i take that very seriously and that's like what my kind of core principles of what i brought to the program were and how i was going to kind of lay the foundation for us yeah how do you feel you know like tj has been a very strong school years and years ago uh, with at, with sports. It's had its declines, and there's a lot of reasons con contributing to that. How do you feel like you're going to be able to impact the football program itself? Like, do you have a plan uh, to kind of help get the youth trained in? To yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think that was one of kind of the biggest things that when I took over the program is that we just were so lacking on having a youth program. Um, there were so many kids that were trying to play football for the first time in their life or had only played for a year or obviously their first experience was coming into the program that folded or had all those issues before. So yeah. it's really just getting, you know, just the excitement built up and having people a part of it. Um, we worked really hard with the TJ Youth Association to build up those, the youth program. This year we have three teams for them, which is awesome. Um, so yeah. last year we only had 12 players come out for us because we were new and trying to get it started. Um, we're over 40 players this year. Um, we got about eight to 10 dedicated coaches down there. Um, my wife is on their board, so has been really trying to build them up, and we've been really, really, you know, involved with them as best as we could. So we know that, you know, a good a good team is is only is is, is what their talented players are, yeah. right? So we're just trying to build up those players, trying to get them as involved as possible, get them into it early, know our culture, and get them rolling. Yeah, and I think when you start with a youth program, you can get people excited about wanting to come to high school. They're already planning on it. They, they're learning about you and the other coaches and your, your you know, how your coaching style is. Right. How would you describe your coaching style? Do you have one? Yeah, I'm um, <laughs> definitely intense. Um, I'm loud as could be. Um, I love it. Yeah, but I think, I think really like the thing that I kind of hang my hat on is like, the kids don't care about what you know until they know that you care about them, right? right? So like, I'm really first trying to build a relationship, trying to make sure everyone sees who I am, what I'm bringing to the table, that I, you know, I practice what I preach, I, I'm, you know, consistent about what I care about and what I'm looking for. So 
all of that has been like laid. The groundwork for all that has been laid. So now like, now we can actually coach. Now yeah. we're all on the same page. We know what we're working for. We know why we're working for it. We have an expectation of what we both are bringing to the table and now we can move forward well. Yeah, yeah. So how does this year look? What do you, what do you feel like for this year? I feel great about it. Um, we've, I'm not a great like, in the moment like you know celebrate like wins or anything like that but I've there's been a couple of times this year where I've really like kind of got smacked in the face of like wow things are different we got a lot of kids who care about this we got a lot of kids who know the expectation and the standard we got a lot of kids who are like coaching up other players because they know what's going on so it's really starting to kind of you know feed itself right now which is a, a really good oh, thing that's to see. exciting a really good thing to see and we're so happy as as you know uh, graduates of TJ there's nothing more than we want to see than kind of this this program get some life get some legs again uh, get some support what can the Frederick community do for you and the high school to support what you're doing yeah well TJ is in a very unique situation compared to other schools around here um, we, we just got a lot of kids that come from uh, you know disadvantaged areas or disadvantaged situations and so we, we really do count on the community support and, and their funding and everything that comes along with that to get us to where we need to be um, we just don't have the funds that other schools here in this area have the, the kids just don't have the same support and all that so we really do count on so many parent volunteers we can we count on any type of donations that we get throughout the year that's really like the lifeblood of our program is knowing that the community can support us and will support us so yeah it's been huge to get us to that point so what are you guys doing are you do you have any fundraisers coming up immediately where we can help with that yeah so we're currently doing a um, gold card fundraiser right now that ends at the end of next week um, that's one of our two main fundraisers that we do um, periodically we'll also post like different um, things that we are looking for and so we and I, we did post a, um, um, a link on everything Frederick's page um, at the beginning of the summer because again our needs are just very different from other schools the things that we need is socks and underwear and food throughout the summer and protein and things like that and uh, that's where a ton of our budget goes to every year um, so yeah, we'll, we'll keep posting those out as we go and when the needs come up and kind of figure out what our budget is there, but yeah. absolutely count on the Well, support make sure of that, um, yeah, and I, I try to, maybe that's where I got tagged on uh, to meet you guys right. and, and to get in touch with you, but right. certainly we want to be here to support what you're doing. We know that what you're giving these kids, this foundation is going to extend well beyond high school and it's important for them to understand their community cares about them and supports them because that in turn makes good community Absolutely. stronger. So. And that's a big thing that we've been trying to push to the kids too is like this is their community and that we do want them to be involved. Um, we've we've uh, partnered with the uh, Frederick Boys and Girls Club and with Frederick County Parks and Rec to do a bunch of different events with them. Nice. Um, yeah, we, we volunteered with them multiple times. We've um, brought a, a bunch of our players out to the youth leagues to go work with their young kids just to make sure that everyone kind of sees our presence and knows what we care about and yeah. what our morals are. And uh, it's one of the things that I've said quite a bit is like, we don't mind having the spotlight on us right now because we know what we're doing. We're doing good things back for the community. We're trying to be right. you know, our best everywhere along there and, and hopefully we can create those good relationships so that when there is needs for us, it's a uh, easy thing because yeah. we're seen, they know who we are, we know what we're about, they know what I'm about, they know what the program's trying to do. Yeah. So. Well, that's awesome. Well, it seems like for just a couple short years that you guys have been here, you're immersed into the community now. We are. We'll be calling upon you to do some great stuff and Absolutely. in return, we're happy to support the organization uh, and really we hope that TJ has you know doesn't have to be a winning season but just a winning within themselves season and that's Absolutely. the most important thing I think yeah for awesome. sure now we have uh, we have awesome awesome senior class right now that's been through uh, a lot of things yeah. at TJ to get to this point so yeah. that's our goal as well is that every day that we just are coming out there and doing our absolute best to support them and give them the best season possible because they put a lot of work and effort yeah. into this to turn this around. So. Well, we love that. All right, this is Bo. He's the coach, head coach of TJ High School. Help support them if you can volunteer, if you can donate, if you can reach out. I'm sure they'll take whatever you guys all have to offer. Um, let's support one of our city schools here in Frederick. Thank you so much. Thank you.